Hello everyone, welcome back to your channel name. Today we're going to talk about a common issue that many Roomba users face, the C510 error. If you're seeing this error on your Roomba, don't worry, we've got you covered. In this video, we'll walk you through the steps to fix the Roomba C510 error and get your robot vacuum back up and running. The C510 error on a Roomba can be frustrating but it's usually a solvable issue. This error typically indicates a problem with the Roomba's sensors or its movement. It may cause the Roomba to not start or to display the error message on the app. Now, let's get into the steps to fix the 510 error. But before we begin, make sure to check your Roomba's manual for specific instructions related to the C510 error. Here's what you can do. One, restart your Roomba. Sometimes a simple restart can resolve the error. Turn off your Roomba, wait for a few minutes, and then turn it back on. Two, clean the sensors. Dust and debris can interfere with the sensors, causing the C510 error. Clean the sensors on the Roomba to ensure they are free from any obstructions. Three, check for obstacles. Ensure that there are no obstacles hindering the movement of the Roomba. Clear the area where the Roomba operates to prevent this error. Four, update the firmware. If the error persists, consider updating the Roomba's firmware. This can be done through the Roomba app or the official Roomba website. Number five, contact customer support. If none of the above steps work, it's best to reach out to Roomba's customer support for further assistance. By following these steps, you should be able to troubleshoot and fix the C510 error on your Roomba. We hope this video has been helpful to you. If you have any questions or other topics you'd like us to cover, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and consider subscribing to our channel for more helpful tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.